Hey guys, Jamie Watts here. I'm the owner and founder of Hexhead Art. Congratulations on your purchase from Hexhead Art. We really appreciate it as an American-made company and really, um, really are thankful for your support. So I'm gonna go over with you today our LED light pack. So this is an instructional video so that we can kind of walk you through exactly how to install this because it is a do-it-yourself. Um, it do it yourself light pack, but I think that you're gonna find that it's pretty easy. We're gonna go through this in about five or 10 minutes. So this is what the LED light pack looks like. This is gonna come in your box with the artwork. Um, as soon as you open the box, the first thing that you're gonna see is this QR code. So this QR code um, will take you directly to this video. Um, this video also exists on the website on the LED item page. So inside of the box, uh, we have uh, as far as inventory goes, this is what we have inside the box. You have 48 inches of LED light strips. If you're getting a gift size or a smaller one, or if geometrically the piece is a little bit odd, you may only be able to use three. Um, you may have to kind of turn these around some corners to be able to use them. Uh, to make that a little bit easier, we have these connecting wires, which we're gonna go over exactly how all these are put together. Um, little four prong connectors that, uh, that go between these wires and the light strips, some tie downs with 3M tape, your plug, and then um, some of you will be getting the LED light pack with the power source and the remote, um, and some of you will be getting the light pack that has the power source, remote, and smartphone control. So we're gonna go over um, all of those here today. So, the uh, most important thing and the biggest mistake that, um, that's made, and I'll go ahead and go over that first before we actually start putting the pieces on the artwork, is on the LED light strap, strip, there is an, a, a little arrow. And these are the four prong adapters here that connect the wires to the light strips. But that little arrow needs to correspond with the little arrow on this connecting wire. If these arrows are not lined up, light strips won't work. So they have to be lined up. This is the number one question that we get. My lights don't work. It's typically because the arrows are not lined up. So that's the way it's gonna look. So when it comes to the installation, it's actually pretty easy. We're gonna put this on this NFL shield. Now, the first thing that I like to do is just lay the strips out. Um, so just to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Now we have a thousand different design SKUs. They're all a little bit different. Some are a little bit more challenging than others. This is obviously pretty easy. I mean, it's just a big square, but, um, but some of them you have to finesse it a little bit and you have to kind of be creative in how you use your strips. But I know that I'm gonna want my power source on this one to come out of the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, have it start here and I'm gonna run these lights all around the outside using these connecting wires. So I know that I want my power source to come out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this strip um, on this side. So there's um, 3M tape on the back. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is just peel um, off this blue tape to reveal the adhesive back. And then we will stick it down. Not a problem. And you can see that sticks down really, really easily. Um, of course, we have to use our four prong pieces. And then I can kind of show you when you have a 90 degree corner like this, exactly how we put this together. So I'm gonna make sure that all my arrows are lined up, of course. And for this one, okay. Now, in order to make this work on a 90 degree corner, what I do is I will simply take this, I can get that in there, right? And spin it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that loop um, so that I can, um, so that this will sit where I want it to sit. And then again, just simply take off the uh, plastic So you can see that we have it all in place now. That literally only took about three minutes to do. Um, we also have these little tie downs that um, have a little bit of foam pressure tape on the back. 
So these are kind of an important part, especially when you're using these connectors that are winding around so that it doesn't push your artwork off the wall too much. So you really just clip them onto the wire itself and then push them down. And you can use several of these. I mean, we have a bunch of them here. Um, so I'll go ahead and just put a couple of them on. You can, um, you know, just use them as needed. Okay, now we're all set up. So the first thing that I'm gonna go over is just the regular remote with adapter. Pretty simple. Um, again, you have to make sure that the arrows are lined up um, to be able to get your power source in. Okay, so once that is on, you can plug in your light and we can see how that works. Okay. And there we go. So the lights are on. And we're gonna hang this up here in just a minute. This is your remote. It has this plastic here. We pulled the plastic out to engage the battery so that the remote will work. Um, this has a battery already in it. It is possible that the battery, very random, maybe one in every couple of hundred, the battery is dead and you have to put a new one in. It's a 1032 battery. Um, so now that I have the, uh, the battery engaged, I'm able to change colors. You're able to change effects. And you can kind of play around with this. There's also instructional, uh, some uh, instructional information inside of this pack. So you can see that it's gonna be flashing different lights. Uh, so you can change those different effects on your remote. Uh, so we have that. And then some of you will have an iPhone uh, smartphone controller. And that smartphone controller looks like this. So it also has a remote control and then it has the smartphone control. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna scan this QR code. It's gonna take you to an app that you have to download. It's free and then you're gonna be able to control your lights with your smartphone. So it gives you a little bit more variation in color and a few more effects. So it's a pretty cool little uh, function there. So let's just uh, go ahead and attach this. Again, with the arrows lined up, go ahead and plug that into our outlet. And this is the remote control. Again, pull the plastic out. You can change it to all the different colors, but I'm going to go to the, um, to the app. So when you go to the app, um, you will see, you'll see this screen, my devices, you hit the plus and then you add a device. Your, because this is plugged in, it should be coming up. So we're gonna click that and connect, and then we're gonna be able to change whatever color we want. Look how cool that is. It's absolutely wild. So we can change the different colors, do it yourself color or a standard color. Um, and then you can look at some of the different color gradients and effects where it's gonna flash between colors, then you can change the intensity, and really you just have to play around with it. You can put it to music, so you can grab music and it'll actually pulse with the music. So it's a very, very cool setup, but you can see that you just use this dial to make it whatever you want and as intense as you want. Absolutely sweet. All right, so you can see what it looks like once it goes up on the wall. Um, when you're able to change all the different colors, the variations and the intensity, up and down, back and forth. Um, you can get it to stay on one color. You can go to dynamic mode um, where it flashes and does some other things and you can change the speed of that to make it flash a little less, change the color. Um, you can also sync this to music. So you can use any kind of music that's on your phone already. So 
It's a great setup. If you have any questions, definitely email us, customer service at hexheadart.com. Besides that, hope you enjoy your artwork. Thank you very much.